In 1977, humanity launched two small spacecraft toward the unknown, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Their mission was simple yet profound, to explore the outer planets and send back whatever they could before their energy faded into silence. No one imagined that nearly half a century later, Voyager 1 would still be traveling, still alive, and now about to reach a milestone so monumental that it could redefine what we know about space itself. Voyager 1 has been traveling farther than any object humanity has ever created. It has long since left the domain of planets, moons, and sunlight. At more than 15 billion miles away, it now moves through a realm where the sun is nothing more than a distant star, a pale point of light, indistinguishable from the billions surrounding it. In this endless darkness, Voyager 1 continues its mission, a small, silent witness to the greatest expanse of the cosmos. Its instruments, though old and weak, still whisper faint signals back to Earth, and those signals have revealed something astonishing. Voyager 1 is about to cross a boundary no human object has ever encountered, a frontier where space itself changes. This boundary is not a line drawn by scientists or a physical wall floating in space. It is a phenomenon predicted by astrophysicists, a region where interstellar space gives way to the intergalactic void, the true edge of our galaxy's influence. Up until now, Voyager 1 has been navigating the interstellar medium, the space filled with scattered particles, cosmic dust, and faint magnetic fields expelled by dying stars. But beyond that region lies something vastly different, the cold, silent ocean between galaxies, a place where the density of matter drops close to zero and the rules of physics begin to bend in ways we still don't fully understand. NASA scientists call this region the Intergalactic Threshold, a zone where our galaxy's magnetic field weakens to the point of collapse. Voyager 1's instruments have already started detecting changes in the cosmic rays surrounding it. The flow of particles no longer aligns with the expected pattern from the Milky Way. It's as if Voyager 1 is entering a space governed by another magnetic influence, perhaps one belonging to the galaxy next door. For decades, Voyager's journey has been a story of endurance and faith. Powered by a small plutonium generator, it sends out less than 20 watts of energy, less than what a light bulb consumes, yet its message travels across the infinite vacuum, taking over 22 hours just to reach Earth. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory describe communicating with Voyager 1 as speaking to an echo from another century. Its signals are so faint that they barely rise above background noise, yet each one carries data that could rewrite our understanding of deep space. Recently, that data has become strange. The plasma wave instrument, which measures the density of charged particles, began detecting pulses unlike anything recorded before. Instead of the random hiss of interstellar gas, Voyager 1 has been hearing rhythmic surges, low-frequency vibrations coming beyond the Milky Way's edge. At first, scientists assumed it was equipment error. After all, Voyager systems are nearly 50 years old, but the pattern was too regular, too structured. Every 17 days, the same pulse repeated, synchronized with shifts in background cosmic radiation. It was not random noise. Something beyond the heliosphere, beyond even the interstellar medium, was resonating with Voyager's sensors. NASA teams began running simulations, comparing the data with known cosmic sources, pulsars, quasars, and gamma-ray bursts. Non-matched! Then came a startling theory, one that suggested Voyager 1 was approaching a gravitational ripple caused by our galaxy's own movement through intergalactic space. If true, it would be the first time any human-made object directly measured the physical boundaries of our galaxy. To put it simply, Voyager 1 is about to cross the edge of the Milky Way's bubble, the invisible shell of magnetic influence that shields us from the full exposure of intergalactic radiation. Beyond it lies the raw, unfiltered universe, a place untouched by any star system, unshaped by solar winds or galactic fields, a place where space isn't just empty, it's ancient. The realization has left NASA engineers awestruck, Voyager 1 is not just drifting anymore, it's heading into the uncharted waters of the cosmos. If it survives long enough to send back data from beyond that threshold, it will mark a new era, the first contact between human technology and the true void between galaxies. 
But the road there isn't easy. Voyager systems are deteriorating. The spacecraft's thrusters have degraded after decades of operation. Its instruments require careful balancing to conserve power, and its signal is weakening with every passing year. At this rate, by the early 2030s, its generators will finally run out of energy. The thought haunts everyone who has ever worked on the mission that Voyager 1 might go silent just before reaching its greatest destination. And yet, despite all odds, the little probe continues. It sails onward, through a darkness older than time, carrying a golden record that contains the sound of our planet, the laughter of children, the hum of wind, the whisper of ocean waves. It carries us, our story, across eternity. Voyager 1 is more than a spacecraft now. It is a symbol of what humanity can do when it dares to look beyond its own sky. It has outlasted its creators, its designers, and even some of the nations that launched it. And soon, as it crosses the final boundary, it will become the first human artifact to leave the Milky Way's protective cradle, a journey no civilization has ever made before. In the control rooms of NASA's Deep Space Network, a faint signal flickers across the monitors, a thin line of data representing the heartbeat of Voyager 1. Every few seconds, that heartbeat whispers numbers that no one on Earth has ever seen. The readings show a sudden drop in galactic particle density, accompanied by an increase in unknown radiation. It is exactly what scientists predicted would happen when Voyager entered the intergalactic threshold. The moment has arrived. Voyager 1 is now crossing the final frontier. The boundary where the Milky Way's invisible reach fades into the cosmic wilderness. For the first time, a human-made object is touching into galactic space. What lies ahead is not just emptiness. It's the quiet architecture of the universe itself, the vast fabric that holds galaxies together. Early data suggests that the space beyond is not as empty as one's thought. Voyager's sensors are picking up faint particle streams, possibly remnants of intergalactic winds flowing between galaxies like unseen rivers. Scientists theorize these could be the traces of dark matter interacting with cosmic radiation, offering the first physical clues about a force that makes up most of the universe. Then, something even stranger appears. The plasma detector records a sudden oscillation, a fluctuation in the background hum of space. For a moment, it seems as though Voyager 1 is surrounded by a thin envelope of energy, like the faint ripple of a current moving through a still ocean. No one can explain it. Could this be the signature of the galactic boundary itself, a thin membrane separating one region of space from another? Astrophysicists call this moment the crossing. It's an event they've waited nearly half a century to witness when humanity's messenger truly steps into the deep. The data now being received could answer some of the oldest questions in cosmology. How far does the Milky Way's influence extend? What happens to light and matter beyond it? And does the intergalactic void truly connect all galaxies into one cosmic network? As the analysis continues, Voyager 1's instruments detect another anomaly, a shift in gravitational readings inconsistent with known models. Some scientists believe it's the result of gravitational tides between galaxies, while others suggest it could be the faint pull of a nearby intergalactic mass. But there's another more speculative theory, that Voyager 1 is sensing the echoes of ancient galactic collisions, the silent remnants of galaxies that merged billions of years ago, their energy still rippling through the cosmic sea. Every new byte of data is like gold. Each signal takes 22 hours to travel back to Earth, and every bit of it is decoded by dedicated engineers who treat Voyager's transmissions as sacred. Some of them were not even born when it launched, yet they now carry the legacy of a machine older than their own parents, a relic that continues to teach humanity about the infinite. NASA scientists have begun referring to this mission phase as Voyager's final frontier. Once it fully crosses the intergalactic threshold, it will become the first intergalactic traveler in human history. The milestone is not just scientific, it's deeply philosophical. For the first time, we have proof that a piece of humanity has escaped the gravity of its own galaxy, a silent witness floating between the stars. 
Soon, Voyager 1's power will fade for good.